A few years ago, we went to Ashland, Wisconsin, but it rained the whole time we were there. So this time, we had multiple reasons to go back. And boy, did we find some cool things. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. And I'm Gary. And he looks like he's in the shadow because he's got his hat on. There he is. <laughs> We're trying to figure out the best lighting for this. The sun is out, so it's really nice. Yeah. We went to Ashland, Wisconsin recently for multiple reasons. The biggest reason was that our Canadian family that we haven't seen in three years were on their way going through on their way to see other family, uh, our son-in-law's family for a while, and they'll be coming back to Wisconsin, but we intercepted their route for part of it, and so that was really neat. That took us up there. It was, uh, it's quite a ways up. It's way at the very top of the state and on Lake Superior, and we had no idea about the things that are that the city offers. So let's tell you a little bit about the city. Um, we are not there right now. We are actually in a different city while our truck is getting fixed. <laughs> we are truckless. Which is really strange because now all of a sudden we don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing a lot of walking. We've got to get the hail damage taken care of. Um, and that's one of the things that's being done. And then a few mechanical things as well with the exhaust and stuff so it'll smell better when it's running. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we have to have it all done and ready so we can get going again uh, for a big event this next weekend. So we have to get it fixed and hopefully get it back today or tomorrow. We've been truckless for four days and it seems like an eternity. <laughs> We've just been walking around. Anyway, we are at a park in Cambridge, Wisconsin. It's by, by Lake Ripley. And that's the lake over down there. You can see that. But we're going to tell you about Ashland. We found a tree. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to try it and film some of this under here. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Ashland. Ashland is at the top of Wisconsin on Lake Superior. And it became a city in 1887. It has a population of about 7,800 people. And it is the historic mural capital of Wisconsin. So we're going to show you all as many of the murals. I think we saw most of them. I didn't count, but there's 20 murals in the city. You can either walk it like Gary and I did. Most of it's downtown. Or you can take a 75 minute guided um, trolley tour. And some people may choose to do that. There are, like I said, 20 murals. We found a couple that we're not even sure if they're counted in the 20 because they were smaller. And there was one that was in an alley compared to all the rest of them were on main places. And the one that was in the alley was absolutely gorgeous. So I think that's towards the end. So make sure you watch all the way to see it. The murals were painted by Susan Prentice Martinson. And Prentice is a pretty big name in in uh, Ashland, I think it's a historical... There's Apprentice Park mm -hmm. where we stayed. Yep. And uh, there's a few of the names on the murals that were Prentice. Yes. She was the main, one of the main painters who did the murals along with Kelly Meredith. And they show the history of Ashland through the murals. We're going to take you and show you the murals and then we have something else that's really cool by another artist that you don't want to miss.
on Ed Griffith's Pedestrian Pass Tunnel. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> it takes you under Highway 2, and it's a safe passage from, from Pearson Plaza to the waterfront on Lake Superior. Actually, it's the bay, and I can't pronounce the bay. I can't either. It's Shemagaguan... Shemagaguan? I'll spell it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> and you figure it out. <laughs> anyway, uh, because at one time, the, uh, the population there in the beginning, in the early, early, early years, before it became the city, were the Chippewa Indians. And so it's a, a Chippewa Indian name that was given to the bay. And that's the waterfront that it takes you to. The tunnel was painted with some mosaics on the walls and on the ceiling as you're walking through it. There's uh, 3,684 square feet and uh, highlights various uh, parts of the ecology, which means it's birds and insects and animals and trees bugs. and bugs and all and that birds, good stuff. birds, lots of birds. And, and if I recall, it was also mentioned that it was for the sake of uh, handicap that it was constructed. Uh, and that, that's where the funds came for the project, for donations uh, to help the handicapped enjoy the lakefront and able to cross then Highway 2 underneath it to get to the city. That's pretty cool. And a lot of the, the added mosaics make it, it, it gives kind of more of a three-dimensional kind of thing for it. It's not just paintings. It has the, the really pretty mosaic um, stone tiles Lots on it, too. Lots of color to them. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's really impressive. Take the kids along. They're going to love it. Yes. So, here is the tunnel. Wasn't that incredible? Ashland is a year-round destination for a lot of people. Uh, you can go there in the summertime and a lot of people have cabins on the lake or, or they have, um, they go hunting, fishing. There's a lot of places to go hiking. And go swimming. Yep. Yeah. And they enjoy the cooler temperatures of Northern Wisconsin as well. And speaking of cooler temperatures, <laughs> <laughs> it's also a wintertime retreat for those who like the winter sports of, uh, of fishing, ice fishing, uh, dog sledding, skiing, um, snowmobiling, ATVs, etc., etc., etc. But it's it's cold up there. Yes, it is. That whole region up there, um, just an hour south of there, we have passed through Hayward, Wisconsin, and this weekend is their World Championship Lumberjack contest and it's a three-day event with a lot of things to do with lumberjacks oh that sounded like a lot of fun wish we'd been there for that next time 
<laughs> well, we're back from our walk. And as you can see, we have our home here. We're not homeless right now. We don't have to stay in a hotel while the truck is getting fixed. So that's really nice. We're, and we're within walking distance to a lot of things. That's one of the reasons we stayed here. Leave us some comments below if you've been to Ashland or anywhere up in northern Wisconsin and some things that you enjoyed about it. And just let us know. Maybe we'll go there for another trip. <laughs> We've lived in the state the whole, our whole lives pretty much and it's just amazing how many things there still are to explore. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and our bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith, because I have an event that happened in Cambridge over the weekend and I have pictures of that. It was called Fire Fest. You may be interested in seeing that. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.